Immediate effusive praise to keep my family safe? Go! John Wick single-handedly saved action movies from the shaky cam and hyper-editing that Born and Taken had doomed them to, and Always Be My Maybe is the single best movie ever made for a streaming service. That being said, I'd like to question the casting of Keanu and Idris in Cyberpunk 2077, and ask if it adds anything to the game. Celebrity casting is a big draw in movies. It can legitimize a film in the eyes of the audience, because if someone they respect signed on to be in it, then surely it must be a good movie? When in reality, most actors aren't drawn to being in good movies, they're drawn to be in whatever pays the most. This is why when we watch a movie, we refer to the character by their actor's name, because we associate more with the actor than the character. This is one of the strengths of storytelling in gaming, because the characters don't resemble their actors, we refer to them by their name, and we're not pulled out of the narrative because they look identical to a character from another game we've played. But when a game seeks to use the tactics of casting a recognizable face to try and legitimize its product, does it end up helping or hurting it? It's undoubtedly a more effective marketing tactic to use in games than movies, as it makes the audience think, wow, this game must be so good that it convinced a big time Hollywood actor to be in it. It's a form of legitimizing gaming as a powerful storytelling medium, by having mainstream personalities devote their time to it. But no one convinced anyone of anything in this scenario. The developers, or marketing team, decided on a celebrity they wanted to put in their game and paid them to be in it. I'm sure they're excited to be in this huge game, but it's not like once it comes out they're going to sink a meaningful amount of time into it, and no one should expect them to. These are Hollywood stars who don't have the time to play a massive game just because they're in it. But when game studios seek to replicate the marketing tactics of movies, does that hurt the game? Your answer to that question depends on whether you view movies as a superior art form to games, and since this is a gaming YouTube video, you're more likely to think games are superior. Personally, I think both genres have their strength. Gaming is the more engaging and exciting medium to talk about, but movies are the superior art form for storytelling, and it's not even close. If I had to rank my top 100 favorite narratives of all time, then there would only be about 5 video games in that whole list. But let's get into Cyberpunk, especially the casting of Keanu Reeves. Does it hurt the game that one of the leading roles wasn't cast by audition, but handed to a pre-decided actor on a silver platter? Do we like Johnny Silverhand because he's Keanu, or because he's a fantastic character? Absolutely the latter, because Keanu killed it. Johnny Silverhand is a hardened cynic who hides all his fears and insecurities under layers of a jaded personality, and Keanu nails that performance. Now, if Johnny had been cast through the audition process, would they have found a better actor? We'll never know, but Keanu treated this role with respect, and didn't play it down because it was a video game and he's such a prominent character that this had to be a considerable time sink for him that would have caused him to pass up a lot of other roles. However, I still contend that Keanu's casting hurt Cyberpunk 2077 overall, but not in the way you think, and to tell you why, we have to look at the opposite end of the spectrum of actors. V is one of the best RPG protagonists I've played in a while, and the female version of her is voiced by the goddess Shiremi Lee. Gamers may recognize her as Makoto from Persona 5 and Rhea from Fire Emblem Three Houses. Anime dub viewers like myself will know her as the voice of Asuna from Sword Art Online and Lucy from Fairy Tail. In short, she's an incredibly talented voice actor with over 300 roles, and she's an absolute steal for CD Projekt Red to cast. The male version of V is voiced by Gavin Drea, whose voice roles include V and, um, oh, he hasn't voice acted before Cyberpunk 2077, and he has the starring role in a game with thousands of dialogue lines. 
If you don't know why someone who's never voice acted before is able to land the starring role in a massive video game, the answer, as with most things in capitalism, is money. Quite simply, he's the best actor for the job they could afford. You can't tell me, after the success of Witcher 3, that big voice acting names weren't attracted to CD Projekt. The problem was that CD Projekt couldn't afford to cast those talented voice actors because all that casting money was being sucked up by someone else. And we can debate it all we want, let's just admit that the male version of V is not that good a performance. And I know people don't like to blame the actors and just say it's bad direction, but voice directors are people too. You want to know who aren't people? The people in charge of the money who sacrificed the quality of the project so they could have Keanu. And yes, V and Keanu are dual protagonists, but is it really fair to sacrifice one so that the other can have a more talented actor? All I'm saying is that there's a reason the main promotional art switched to the female V after the game was released. So while Keanu absolutely nailed his role as Johnny Silverhand and elevated it to incredible heights, the answer to whether celebrity voice acting hurts gaming is a resounding yes, because it means you don't have the money for a talented cast to play off of your celebrity.